Well, when we first came to the building, it was an empty shell, and that was quite exciting. And I saw this amazing sort of six floor ceiling height, and I thought this is sort of a unique type of gallery space. It's not your typical white cube space. Residents and commercial tenants that live in it, and I thought it'd be quite interesting to sort of build this arts community around that. The design of the building as a whole is uh, from the outside brick. It, it's very contextual at the same time as being quite contemporary. And that was certainly a response to the, the local context. The depth of the site resulted in the atrium that we're standing in here. The atrium space has created a, a community feel because of the different uses we have operating in it. We have all the, the residential apartments around the floors, but we also have the commercial units with creative industries or artists, along with the cafes, which will bring the residents and the, the workers in the building together. We have exhibitions, we have a lot of talks and events that are going on. We're working with a lot of art critics as well um, to put together shows that are interesting and engaging. I see our summer program as sort of a, a big housewarming in a way um, to sort of get to know the area and um, initiate our space. Our first exhibition, which you'll see um, by Adam Dant, explores the history of Hackney. In the context of this show, Hackney meant rifling through a wealth of archival material, old maps, documents, um, photographs, to produce this map that's behind me, titled The Hackney Hoard, which shows all the manor houses and uh, you know, significant treasure houses of pre-industrial Hackney. I've been making maps of the, the immediate uh, neighbourhoods around my studio in Shoreditch. I've kind of done maps of Shoreditch in the year 3000. When I was asked to come up with an idea for a show in Hackney by Audrey in Gallery 8, it kind of coincided with my visiting the British Museum and seeing um, a find of gold dollars, $20 coins, called the Hackney Hoard. I thought this is like the perfect context for an exhibition in a new gallery which is trying to un unearth you know, treasures in this uh, you know, exciting borough. I wanted the show, The Hackney Hoard, to ask the uh, residents of Hackney to, to think about what lies underneath their feet as part of their everyday life. They might be walking over these, these treasures. And everyone likes treasure stories, don't they? I think Hackney is great because it's such an international um, community, but at the same time it has a very strong English feel. Having some sort of dialogue between English artists as well as international artists. With the gallery I'm hoping we create some sort of a forum for, for, for discussion or, or um, dialogue between these artists and art critics and hopefully the rest of the community.